And let me show you what we giving away. This is what we giving away. What you got? What you got? All right. Remember, if you didn't watch Cooking with Tiff, this is your meatloaf box. So now let's break this meatloaf box down. It looks like a dairy product of some sort. We got beef and we got some seasoning. You know how many crates? Well, there's two pallets. Do you know how many boxes are on those pallets of that same exact food item? What happens if it takes a long time to disperse the food? What happens to that food? You know, let's big brain it. Let's let's doomsday plan real quick. What do you think happens to that food after an hour and a half? Two hours. To, oh, my God. So as you all may know, we just had the whole cooking with Tiff. You know, what I mean, it, she she really blew it up to be something that really wasn't. It was mediocre at best. But now we move forward. Right. And she kind of snowballs this cooking with Tiff situation forward. And she tries to tie it into her campaign and she's she's you know she's giving these little pre-made boxes out to the community and you can make the meatloaf like we did this week you know it's almost it's almost a cool concept if she was a content creator bro you know if you were a content creator you know what that's a great idea i mean i might take it for myself one day but i mean you're a supervisor a mayor and you're trying to do some content and go give back come on please my number one thing about this entire situation that we're, we're about to get into, all the beef is just out. I don't know how long it's been out. I don't know where it's been refrigerated. But when we go into the boxes, you just see ground beef. Okay, how long has that been refrigerated for? My mind immediately starts to panic. I'm like, okay, what the fuck's going on? The timer has started and we don't know when. almost seems like every time she does a community outreach it's her battling all the comments so let's see what we have today in our installment of super tiff hey guys Woo, it's your super mayor tiffany a here you're she always does that this is a literally her intro like this is like you know how i say like what's my intro I don't really have an intro. I, I kind of just say so and I begin the video. But her intro, if if I were to have one, that's hers. It's your super mirror. Yo, that is the... Cr I don't know how she does this and not die from cringe. I don't know how she does it. I would be dead by now just from cringe itself. Deceased. Hey, guys. Woo, it's your super mayor mm. tiffany a here you're the people's mayor so we are out here once again as always you know how we do we put on for our city on, on for the city all right we out here giving our free food oh boxes God. to our residents of thorn township so if you are in need and you would like a food box pull up at 333 east 162nd street in south highland and we are here and i'm turning around so you can see us in action and the cars are lined up. They're going that way around the building, as you can see. And let me show you what we're giving away. This is what we're giving away. What you got? What you got? All right. Remember, if you didn't watch Cooking with Tiff, this is your meatloaf box. So Now, let's break this meatloaf box down. We got... Let's, let's back it up a few frames. Hold what on. What we giving away? This is what we giving away. What you got? What you got? Let's break that meatloaf box down. It looks like a dairy product of some sort. We got beef and we got some seasoning. You know how many crates? Well, there's two pallets. Do you know how many boxes are on those pallets of that same exact food item? What happens if it takes a long time to disperse the food? What happens to that food? You know, let's big brain it. Let's let's doomsday plan real quick. What do you think happens to that food after an hour and a half? two hours to oh my god all right remember if you didn't watch cooking with tiff this is your meatloaf box so you have your crackers your potatoes your onions your bell peppers your ground beef your canned goods and you know how i do i gotta get out some seasons right so you got your garlic you know what i'm talking about we do the accent you gotta make it get some flavor some taste yeah yeah i know it's salt it's salt 
And then I know one of them had some season salt in it. I couldn't find it in that one. And also season salt. So all these things are in the box. And then we also have got our eggs. I know how expensive eggs are in the store. All this shit just see it just screams food safety hazard to me. It just, I don't know. If it was me, listen, I would not be pulling up to the Tiffany Hinyard get your free food situation. And the other thing, where is all this food coming from, you know? Did you spend money for it? Aren't we in a deficit? And I mean, it's great to do things for the community, but when you're in a situation where you're negative, I think you should focus on the contracts and the people who need to get paid, the big things to keep the city alive. You're over here doing fucking free food giveaways bro somebody had to pay for that food i don't know where along the line it happened but somebody paid for it and i'm thinking mm, it's probably coming from the city so or the township listen tiffany she will not stop unless she is stopped but these are the things that we are giving away here at the township so i keep telling y'all they not like us they not like us they not People. Oh my god, they not like us. They not like that the Kendrick Lamar song. You guys probably heard it. It's like a viral song. If you don't know the, if you don't know the song, it's viral. This is the third music, this is the third song she's integrated in her live stream and it's only been a minute and 43 seconds deep. Dies uh, listen, this is the cringiest shit I've ever seen in a minute. Who create negative narratives and it's sad because this is the love out here. I love it. I'm getting ready to go home and cook and make something more. Okay, love you guys. Love you too. Thank you. That part. This is where it's at. You got to come and see what the real people are saying that live in Thornton Township. Not the little four or five people that y'all cherry pick to be uh, on the news. We talking about the people that really, really benefit from this and know uh, Tiffany Henry's heart and know that I always, always look out for the people. I really care, guys. Remember, I keep telling you, people talk. They do lip service. I actually do public service. I actually make sure that I take care of your needs. Um, and if you're watching, we having our picnic. Yes, 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 we having our picnic. It will be this Sunday at uh, 14312 Greenwood in Dalton at the rink. Um, it will start at 3 p.m. So you get out of church, please pull up and show out. Um, bring your babies. We got stuff for the kids because y'all know I love the babies. And I want people to always come out and bring your family because it's all about family, guys, with me. Unity amongst community where you don't got to look for no babysitter to come to any one of my events. Bring your family. So please show up. Bring the family. Ah, look who it is. Look who it is. Ah. Bring the whole family. Bring the whole family. What the you got? Bring the whole family. You want to talk to them? What's going on, y'all? If she did that, ah, to me, I would roll my fucking windows up. I'm sorry. Honestly, I would like, I would roll my windows up and politely drive away. But you know why they didn't do that? It's because the only people who show up to these things anymore are Tiffany Hinyard's benefiters, not supporters. It's Tiffany Hinyard benefiters. I don't know if that's a word, but it's the people who benefit from her. It's the people who somehow, some way they benefit. That's the only people left. There's not even proper supporters left. Just liking her because that's the way she is. No, because the jig is up. She doesn't care about anybody but herself. <laughs> the Tiffany cares. That's the most ironic fucking slogan I've seen in a while. So please show up. Bring the family. Ah, look who it is. Look who it is. Ah. Bring the whole family. Jesus Bring the whole family. Christ. What the you got? Whole family. You going to talk to them? What's going on, y'all? Big Craig, y'all know what it is. Tell about your kitchen. Craig's kitchen. Oh, I'm sold out. I'm sold out today, y'all. I just got through. Yeah, I want some this of my that girl, pasta. though. Tiffany, hey, I don't care what nobody say. She rocking with me. I'm rocking with her. That part. Yeah, Ooh, that was again. Yeah, they know what it is. They ain't gonna do what they're gonna do. That nothing. Ain't nothing they can do about it. That that part. <laughs> yeah, this my boy. He gonna come and cook in the kitchen with Tiff. We're cooking yeah, with Tiff. Cooking with Tiff. He gonna go down and show me what he do. And what y'all keep bad from him, because I tried to get some dinners today, and he was sold out. That means you doing a doggone thing, guys. So make sure y'all look him up on Facebook and um go see him. Because he always cooking, man. I'm telling you, he cooking. Yep. He gonna show us all how to cook with his famous recipe. What's the famous recipe you got? What, what are you doing? 
Black too much. Oh, yeah, it's so funny. He too much. I to he too much. <laughs> Tiffany, come on, Tiff. Like, so it, it's, it's it's such thirsty behavior. And she's not thirsty to be his friend. She's thirsty for the camera to be in his face to make content. She's trying to spin her image. I'm for the people. This is and and keep in mind, this is not to make money. Her money maker is where she is. She's in Thornton Township. I feel like this social media shit, it's mainly right now she's trying to do quality control. Look at me. The people love me, okay? So all that shit you see on fake news is fake. The people actually love me when there's literally 10 people out here. He gonna show us all how to cook with his famous recipe. What's the famous recipe you got? What, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Play too much. He's too much, huh? Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Hold on, sidebar. I got you. All right, no. Thank you, love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. He probably told her something. He's like, hey, Tiff, you should probably get the fuck off that live because, you know, I'm supporting you, but but they looking at you, sweetie. All right, all right, be safe now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, look. Cause uh, all these people pulling up, and I want to go talk to my people, love on my people as I always do. But I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that this week, meaning Sunday for Labor Day, I always have a picnic. The picnic will be uh, going on at Just Ice Rink, 14312 Greenwood in the village of Dalton. Starts at 3 p.m. until 8 or 9, one of them. Y'all know how we do. So bring your babies. We got fun in the sun for them and um, entertainment. So please show up and show out. Uh, those that been watching the board of trustees try to stop that. I ain't never seen a bunch of people um, just go against providing for the people. Make that make sense. So they tried and they failed because I'm going to always feed the people no matter what because you guys are in need and we're supposed to supply that need. Uh, when people get into uh, service, they shall always, always uh, do what's right. Hey, how you doing? They're supposed to always do what's right and half the time people don't. They do what's best for them and not for the people. So uh, I am your super mayor, Tiffany A. Henry. I'll see y'all this Sunday. It will be going down in the village. And she always says, I am your mayor, super mayor, Tiffany Henry. She always says that. So that's like her outro to her videos. You know how I say stay inside, stay safe or whatever. That's her stupid ass outro. I am your mayor, Tiffany Henry. Your super mayor. Yeah, this shit is wild, bro. This shit is wild. She, I know she has to be speaking and like at the same time her mind is like wow you're really full of shit aren't you like she's talking about herself she's saying they're doing things that only benefit themselves have you seen yourself like lately have you seen how you behave lately no like what do you mean like yeah i don't know what she's talking about but let's continue bunch of dogs in at the picnic but you still got time to get here and get your uh meatloaf box because cooking with tiff we always always every fourth wednesday will uh advertise cooking with tiff and we always allow residents to sign up all you gotta do is sign up to be a uh, guest on the show and cook your favorite uh, meal i had a lady challenge me today she came and challenged me in the line said she's gonna cook the best mac and cheese so we got a mac and cheese war going on so if you think you got the best mac and cheese y'all should sign up and let's see who got the best mac and cheese we can do more than one person because right now just being one other person so we can do three four people whoever want to join in on this challenge but um stay tuned because we got a lot going on and i got a lot of great things coming down the pipeline for the residents of Thornton Township. Um, I appreciate y'all love, support, your prayers, and thank you for reaching out and keep me uplifted. She's on full campaign mode right now. I will say that. She is on full beast campaign mode. There's nothing you can tell her other than senior citizens voting for me. That's all she cares about. Fuck everything else. I don't care about the investigation. I don't care. Just let me get that seat again. I need the money. How am I going to fight my legal battles if I don't have the 250000 I make at Thornton Township? I need the money. And honestly, that's what she needs. She needs this win. She needs that because when the legal shit starts to pile up, she's going to need the money. And I think she kind of realizes that. But I don't see a reality where she wins, folks. If she wins, I'm going to be a conspiracy theorist and go ahead and say that shit was rigged because ain't no way. Ain't no way. In prayer 
Because guess what? As I would say, me today, you tomorrow. That's why y'all fight. Y'all do not stand down. You fight. You do not let people come and take over something that you've earned, something that you are doing really well in, but people so mad that they can't control you. It's all about control. That's it. They cannot control greatness. They cannot control people that got vision. It's like this. If I was a person on the other side, I would try to make uh, friends with me. And the reason being because you will, you should want to understand how the youth move and how you we are youth? always so energetic and always so vibrant and really. She just said how we are so energetic, ma'am. Listen, you are not the youth, okay? I am not the youth. The fuck are you talking about? The youth is twenty year olds, okay? The fuck are you talking about? You're not the fucking youth. You're a forty some year old woman. Calm the fuck down, okay? She over here feeling herself. She over herself feel she over here feeling herself. Tiffany, calm down. You are the youth. You should watch me because we are the youth. Bitch, what? Like huh? great things in our community. Y'all about to pass the baton, but yet y'all steady trying to tear down the youth and I'm not with it. Anybody that's the youth and you want to run for office, call me. I mean, call me. And the reason why I say call me is so I can help you. Because I know in the past, a lot of people don't want to pass the baton, don't want to teach nobody what to do because they're scared that you're going to take their seat. But guess what, guys? This is a new day and time. And right now, the it's youth is on the age. rise. And I'm encouraging people to keep going, to keep going. Do not stop. Don't never, ever, ever give up. Whatever you believe in, you should see that through. Whether it's starting a business, whether it's um, helping somebody achieve their goal. Sometimes you are... Um, hmm, part of the season but you can't go to the next chapter sometimes and people got to be okay with that but this is my last message for those that's watching y'all got a lot of people that y'all hang with it's a lot of people that be around y'all stay tuned and, and pay attention to the people around you your own people in your circle your family or whatever are the ones that really can be jealous jealous of you uh envy you the hatred all that's real but half the time people don't pay attention because they're so close they're so close to you and you don't see it. So I can only tell you so that you can prevent that as you move forward. Sounds sounds like she's having some problems with the family, huh? Sounds like sounds like some people are turning against her. This rant kind of it, it's giving us a deeper look into how life is going for her right now. And I think this rant is kind of telling, you know, this is her therapy. She can't talk to nobody. Think about it. Tiffany can't talk to anybody. Who's she going to talk to? Maybe a close family member, but they don't really understand it. She can't speak to colleagues and, and vent and get it off her chest because she, nobody is on her side. So what she do? She goes on social media and cries about it. This looks like someone to me who's under a lot of stress and who's venting as much as they can to just decompress a little bit of stress. Like, what is going on? And then, of course, we're going to sprinkle in a, a little bit of campaign, you know, a little bit of campaigning, but... Yeah, that's what it feels like to me. This feels like a therapy session. So keep on going. Don't give up. Don't stop, but pay attention. Because sometimes people pay attention, it's too late. Amen. <laughs> I'm ride or die. What you got? I'm ride or die. That, that part, you heard him. I'm ride or die. I ain't going nowhere. And I'm here. That part, in the public, in the public eye. And that's what it's all about, guys. Y'all got to have people that's all right. Y'all see you. You got to have people that support you and want to see you grow and uplift you. You can't hang around people that has that uh, crab in the barrel mentality because they don't want to see you grow. And some people are really mad because you have outgrown them. Some people are upset because at the end of the day, think about it. I got a position that I know a lot of people wanted. I know when Frank Zuccarelli was here, a lot of people wanted the seat. He had the seat for 30 years, or 29 to be exact. And no one said nothing or ran against him or did anything. So you have to change it. Hey! Imagine making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for thirty years. Fuck, bro. What the fuck do you even do with that? What do you even do with that? That's a lot of money. I don't know if he. I don't know if he was making actually two hundred fifty k for thirty years. But imagine, like, dog. I'm gonna be the supervisor for the rest of my life, which is fucking pretty much what he did 250k a year for 30 years so what he got reelected for that's what tiffany wishes she could do that's what she wishes and strives and hopes that she could do but you can never do that tiffany 
You're too crooked. She's too sti- the fingers are too sticky. She cannot help herself. Her impulse controls non-existent. When she sees money, she take. That's how Tiffany reacts. And all I'm gonna say is like, look at the representation. Ain't nothing wrong with bro, but so you have to change your hair. Ain't nothing wrong with bro, but he kind of dusty and shit. Like, look at her representation. I mean, okay, cool, I guess. It's like you just caught me in the morning with the wife beater on and fucking short shorts on and put the camera in my face and say, tell me how much you love me. Like what type of representation? Like Tiffany, that shows because if there's a lot of people, she would have had that camera in everybody's face. That shows the lack of people that's there because she's looking for someone to put the camera in their face. He said, that's why I told y'all, come get the real truth from the people's voices. But um, all I'm saying to y'all is, it's, it's not too late to help people that y'all see fighting for y'all. And don't be afraid to stand in the fight. Because a lot of times people run because they're afraid to stand in the fight. You have to stand for something or fall for it all. And I'm just trying what to encourage my people does that mean? to want better. And, and y'all deserve better. And I'm here to give you better, despite what people may say. And that's why I always say, my work speaks for itself. Okay, well, nobody's opinion is what they say. Because everybody got haters and everybody got people that don't like them or disagree with them. But you have to understand that when you're in the fire, you're going to have people that don't believe in your vision or don't believe in what you're doing. It's okay. Think about it. You got the president race, right? You got Trump and Kamala, right? You got both of them. Each one of them got people that don't like them. But what do they focus on? Their base, the people that like them. So why I'm telling you that? Because you have to do the same. In your life, in your personal life, business life, you have to do the same. Focus on- Tiffany, as incompetent as this year, as these elections may seem, you are nowhere near either one of their levels. I'm just saying. And that show, that's saying something. Listen, Tiffany- she she really she really puts herself up there. She's comparing herself to the presidential race. Little old Dalton Supermir. Lady, you're nothing to them. That's why I keep trying to get in you guys' head. Like she feels like she's this big time, this big shot. Like, oh, I met Joe Biden or I met Kamala. You know, but we don't give a fuck. They don't know. They, they met you and forgot about you 30 seconds later. Who the fuck is that lady? And then they might see you on the news and be like, ah, I, I recognize her. That's that crazy mayor lady. You're just a la- you're a laughing stock to everybody. Come on, bro. On those that support you. Focus on those that uplift you and keep prayer and keep God first. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that. Keep God first. And the reason why I say that, because they don't talk about God. Y'all have to keep God first. All you haters and all you people that come on my page. If you don't like somebody, why y'all follow me? I don't follow no- I just want to show you this. Her eyes glitch downward. People are leaving hate messages on her page while she's talking. Look, when she says to all you haters, you're going to see her. Well, before she says that, her eyes start moving. She's reading what they're saying. And I'm pretty sure it's spam messages like, Tiffany's going to jail. Tiff going to jail. How's that jail meatloaf sounding? Because they don't talk about God. Y'all have to keep God first. Look at her eyes. All you haters See? and all you people that come on my page. If you don't like somebody, why y'all follow me? I don't follow nobody I don't like. So stop. And y'all always got something negative to say. But guess what? You're not in my shoes. People are always going to shoot for the person at the top. Always. Because You're at guess the top? where you are? You're at the top. Oh, okay. So do not... Do not come down here on their level because you are already at the top. Don't ever make them relevant because you are already at the top. Mm-hmm. All I can do is just tell y'all what I'm going through. So you will know how to move when you get to the top. Because you have to let people go that you love, care about, that you thought was in your corner and the main ones trying to create your demise. You're going to have to go through these motions. And I'm just telling you because I am living it. I could tell that Keith Freeman move really has her hurt. The people who who I thought was going to take me to the top ended up shitting on me. Well, guess what? There's no honor amongst 
thieves, you stupid asshole. That's why. Now you're hurt about it? You're both thieves. Expect to be backstabbed. So all I can do is tell you I've experienced. Stay tuned, because I always got something going on. Stay tuned, because you can't keep okay. Superman oh, back. Y'all be trying, devil. Y'all be trying. Crazy. But I've always, always come out, as they say. I come out of them ashes like the phoenix. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Oh, shit. All right, so I'm just gonna let, let it. Oh, shit. That's so dope, Tiffany. Uh, you like saying dope, right? Ah, that's so dope. Let's incorporate some rap lyrics. They not like us. They not like, yeah, let's do that. Stupid. Be where is that? We out here once again, 333 East 162nd Street in South Holland. It's going down. We're giving out food boxes until 6 o'clock or until we're, we're done. But all you had to do is register. Uh, this is the food box from Cooking with Tiff. Uh, the meat that we had was meatloaf. So now you can come and get what you need and do that cooked meal. I know it's the holiday, so come get that cooked meal. And then Sunday, once again, we got the picnic. It starts at 3 p.m. on Sunday. Village of Dalton, Just Ice Rink, uh, 14312 Greenwood in Dalton. So pull up. Come and love on your super mare. Come and get you some more food. On that day, we're giving out turkeys, uh, dressing, greens. Like, yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving meals. So you can come and grab that stuff and cook something different for the holiday. Uh, but just stay tuned, guys. All I can ever say, stay tuned. Because remember, ain't no stopping us now. We on the move. And that's what we're going to do. We on the move. Going Township, uh, currently now, uh, it's 80% people, hey, that know that we exist. Where before that's the fifth song she used so far by the way i don't know if you guys are counting but that's her fifth fucking song incorporation safe to say she has no originality when she finds an idea that she th that she feels works for her she's gonna stick with that bitch no matter what i mean good on her that's at, at least it shows dedication right only 20 percent knew uh the township exists so come out learn about your township come out and educate yourself on what's going on. Because guess what? All that fake news and uh, stuff that people say that ain't true, please, please come and get the facts and understand facts versus fiction because a lot of people don't know. They don't know. Um, and then to my, my people, yeah, my black and brown people. Um, our ancestors used to always say. Oh. <laughs> our an <laughs> Not to my black and brown people. Man, she is pandering. She's not even pandering. She's begging. She, our ancestors used to always say, this shit's, this shit's about to be the furthest thing from deep. Well, you see how she cleared her throat and she's looking into the distance? This, this thing's about to be the furthest thing from deep. She's really about to drop gems, though, folks. Pay attention. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. It's always say that. I knew it was not going to be shit. I knew it wasn't going to be shit. You know why they used to say that? It's because kids are stupid and they say dumb shit in public. In terms of you, we ain't got good to we ain't got good things to say and we're saying it. You know why? Because it's illegal what you're doing. So we're going to say it. That doesn't apply here. Just in case you didn't realize, maybe you misconstrued that whole little that whole little saying that moms used to tell us. They used to always say be respectable. They should always say keep your opinion to yourself, especially if it's negative. And all I can ever tell y'all is y'all want us, meaning the youth, to look towards you for advice or look to you. Every time she says the youth, that shit fucks me the fuck up. Ma'am, you're not the youth. Let it go. You're a mature woman. Let it go. You're not. You're not the youth. Stop listening to rap. Go ahead and listen to the slow jams. Your auntie, okay? Chill. It's fine. It's your auntie now, okay? That's it. Let it go. Let it go. To you as a leader, you guys got to be a better representation so we can look to you and say, yeah, we want to mimic what we see. I, we don't. We don't want to mimic what we see because there's a lot of fake people and I can't stand a fake politician. I cannot. I can't stand the ones that come to your door uh, only doing lecture time. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And if you're offended, I'm talking about you. You come to the door only when it's time to run for office. Other than that, you don't ever, 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 ever see them in the public. I'm the most active, and I hate to use the word politician, public servant, I'll say that. There is. Because you're not a politician. I'm the only one that don't. It's because you're not a politician. You didn't feel worthy to say the fucking word politician. 
public servant is a lot fucking better. Get that get that word out your mouth. You're not one. You're not good enough to be one. You never were one. And you know that. That's why you shut the fuck up. Always show up and show out. My only one that's going to sit here and sweat the death in the sun with, it, with my employees. Because remember, I'm just like them. The only difference is titles. But I'm just like them. And I'm going to sit here and love y'all. I don't know nobody else that's going to do that. Everybody talk a good game, but they don't show up for y'all. Everybody want to talk mess about somebody and try to tear them down, but they need to look in the mirror. So all I can ever tell y'all is keep pushing, keep going. Because you're going to go through it, but make sure y'all grow through it, okay? Grow through it. Do not let nobody take your joy. Do not let anybody take your peace. Keep climbing. Keep growing. And guess what? If the people you're around ain't growing you, get away from them. You shall always have people in your circle that can grow you, that can educate you, that can uplift you, that can always pass the baton if they don't know the answer. Hey, always. I'm going to get off this live. <laughs> I got to go. But look, always. But anyway, she keeps on vomiting words, and the, what she said is true. She needs to get the fuck off that live. Get the fuck off, please, ma'am. But, hey, she definitely provided me some entertainment. I enjoyed this. You know what I'm saying? Just another day, Tiffany melting down, making a fool of herself. She has these different ideas and these thoughts that come into her head, and she executes them with a little bit, with small amounts of planning, and then the news and people like me jump on top of it like flies on shit because it's hilarious. And just time after time, she, she shows herself to be a fucking moron. It's crazy. I don't see why she keeps doing that. When I first started this video, the video's over, so you guys could click out if you guys are done. But when I first started this fucking video, three seconds into it, maybe five, I was like, oh, she's just making it too easy. Because I was making thumbnails, right? Thumbnails, you have to find, you know, intriguing photos and pictures and things that, you know, grab the eye. Listen, I, I played it for five seconds. I was like, Tiffany, you're just making this shit too easy. She always says, we're doing it for the clickbait. <laughs> this is the first. The, we ain't clickbaiting here. But everything from here is straight from you. Ain't not one thing clickbaited from my channel, at least on this topic. <laughs> Not one thing. You know why? Because the truth is better than a clickbait title. That's why. You make it that way. But anyways, people. Love you guys. I'm going to get up out of here. Sarah Boone coming soon. Hit me up with new topics as well in my Instagram. Hit me up in the comments about new topics if you want to. And um, I'll see you guys later, man. I love you guys. Peace.